Hello everyone, my name is Karim Shusha. I'm environmental artist and lighting artist. Today I would like to show you my latest material. I made it on Substance Designer and the Unreal Engine. Actually, I know winter is coming, so many of people needed to create, to, to put uh, snow, a snow shader on their work. So I decided to try to create realistic shader and it's uh, for free, for sure. Uh, and I would like to show you my parameters and how it's work. Uh, basically, this is my material, as you can see. It's realistic. As you can see here, okay. And there is a menu of parameters and I am sure you will like this shader okay so let's go to see my parameters first thing i will open my material okay so i made my material you can put it on any service and it, it followed the the depth the depth of uh, sorry or, or, uh, pixel offset depth so if you put it on any surface or you put any surface above this material you can see the fading here okay so how it's work first thing you can see here base color okay if you change the base color you can see a little bit here change it okay like that and then displacement tiles uh, so you can control of your snow on the ground here so if i moved this increase or decrease this amount you can see how it's for right it's cool right okay so i will go back to my material so it's maybe it's called noise noise of snow you can make it something like that. I like that. Okay. And another thing here, it's very cool. You can, you can use it for sure. It's footstep tiles. So I made this very simple footstep. So you can tile as you want, maybe 50 by 50 or 5 by 5. Okay, it's too big. It's for Hulk. <laughs> okay. And you will see uh, the size is random. It's random scale. So it's very nice to use it. Okay. And here the control of footstep. So if you change this footstep amount, you can push it up or push it down. And another thing is cool here. Uh, it's footstep AO, ambient occlusion. So if I make it a zero, Okay, you can see it, but if you decrease, increase this amount to plus nine, you can see here, it's actual realistic footstep. Okay, so you can use it as here, okay, or like that. Okay, and footstep normal for sure. You can add footstep normal, decrease or increase the amount. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay. And here, footstep amount, I will push it down. Okay. And another thing is very cool here, it's depth offset. Depth offset is mean if you put it, uh, if you see the snow in the real life, uh, the problem when you put any 
models in Unreal or any 3D software, you will see the edges, edges it's very sharpness. So I try to make it uh, with a fading. Okay, so let's try something like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe. Great news is now you can download all of library of Megascan for free. So that's very cool. So as you can see here, I just put my uh, model and you can see here the faded, it works very realistic. I tried to make realistic as possible and I took uh, two weeks to make it and test it for a long time. And I think it's a good result to see here is the snow and faded around the model okay so if you change here depth offset you can control of your depth here and here what i what i say this is normal if you put any model on another surface you will see something like that but if with depth offset you can change your depth here to looks like real life okay so here we have opacity opacity any uh, sorry any snow or any eyes if you see it let me change this 25 30 again okay it's surface scattering, okay? Surface scattering, it's uh, for, for snow or ice to, to make the formation of the lights. It's uh, scattering of light, sorry. So if you change it here, the opacity, let me open this better, okay? If you change the opacity, you can control of surface scattering, okay? And if you go up here, you will see scattering color. So you can change your scattering color if you want, okay? And if you see here, it's the same thing. It's for depth offset. It it's works with any model. I think it's look realistic. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? It's okay, it's tessellation amount. Okay, uh, but uh, before tessellation, I talk about roughness amount because roughness is the very important things here because if you see the snow in the real life, you, you, will, you have to see this, this noise of uh, uh, specular. Okay, and if you put your camera and try to make your focus, I will try to make something like that. Okay, and you change the roughness, opacity, you can see here the noise of that's it. Okay, and if you change, if you change your camera, focus you see it's reflected of the snow like real life so it's very cool right <laughs> okay so uh, and for sure I add the specular amount you can control for your specular amount make it high or low tessellation amount for tessellation, you can push it, push the snow up, or you can push it down. I prefer to push it down, okay? It will give you more realistic snow, okay? And if we go back here to tiles, displacement tiles, I can change something like that. And if you don't want to put the footstep, you can footstep here, okay, and turn off step AO and 
or sorry, you can make it zero and this zero two. Okay, and normal zero. Okay, so it's gone. Okay, so now we have full realistic snow. Okay, and let's talk here. For example, this one. Actually, to this time, I don't know how to make vertex paint on Unreal. So I try to duplicate my, uh, my model and put it the texture and change it. I played here, you can push it back. You see, it's so pasty. It works very good with this. So let's put it down, you see here. And if you go to depth offset, you can change your depth offset, decrease or increase your snow on your surface. It works very good, okay? And the same thing is here. If I open, open it, okay? And you can see here, okay? But if you, if you change tessellation sub-device, okay? You can control, uh, sorry, it's tessellation amount, you can push it up, make the bigger snow, and then you can decrease this amount or increase here. <laughs> you should make it by minus, that's okay. You have to see something like that. I think it's, uh, it's realistic, okay? And if you put the material on any surface, it works with the offset field. So depth offset is very important to see this picture, it's realistic, okay? Uh, I think that's it that I want to, to show you. And another thing is here, if you put the material, let me open it. If you put the material, uh, on the, something like that, if you want to make it, uh, it's like uh, ices, ices glasses or something like that, you can put it and change its scattering color. Okay, so if you see here, I can change my scattering color and play with this placement normal tiles. If you make it two, you can see the noise here is, is change, but if you add, I can add more noise, okay? So let's see how it looks like. Oh, <laughs> it will look like that. And I will go back to my camera. And here you can see it's a very realistic Snow ices. Okay, and if you change tessellation amount here, you can get it's it's like a magic effect. So I change it like that or like that. You can see it's going to more ices. Okay, and I will change the opacity. Okay, you can change your opacity. It's not opacity, it's, uh, uh, it's for, uh, for what, <laughs> sorry? It's for uh, scattering, scattering color, scattering color opacity. So you can play with this too. It will give it you very good, very good effect. And if I change my color direction here, Sorry. Okay, like that. And if I go back to my material and change my direction light,
okay, that's very cool, but I have to put it up, the reaction up here, and change my skylight to maybe 10 to see direction light effect. Okay, you see here is service scattering. It works very good with any light. You see here, what's happening here. Yeah, that's example for how to use your material. This is no material, my, my snow material on your work. I hope you like it. And please don't forget to support me on my art station to follow me on my art station and share it with your friend for sure and let me uh, what you see and how it works with you if it works good if it, if it's not good for you so i hope to let me know okay uh, yeah you see here if i make it by minus we can change it's very very cool effect. You can change the the snow to ice. You see, oh, it's ice. <laughs> so I think we got a, a very realistic shader. For me, I like this shader too much. Uh, I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.